In this third episode of Automate Everything series, I'm going to show you how you can have ChatGPT run your LinkedIn account and how you can have ChatGPT create viral tweets and post them on your personal profile or on your page account every single day. The first thing we want to do is to go to Zapier. Zapier allows you to connect ChatGPT with over 5,000 apps, including LinkedIn. I have a full tutorial how you can connect ChatGPT with any app on the internet within seconds. So I'm going to link that video down below. The first thing you have to do is that you want to go and create a new app on zapier.com. And then we are going to start with our trigger. So the trigger can be anything that is going to trigger and start the flow of actions. In our case, we are going to use an app that is directly built inside Zapier and it's called Schedule by Zapier. We are going to search for it, Schedule by Zapier, click on it. And then the first thing you want to do is to choose the event. If you click on it, you can see how often this should be triggered. So let's say that this flow of posting viral tweets on LinkedIn is going to be triggered every day. Let's click on every day. We're going to continue and then you can specify more options here. So you can trigger it on weekends. I'm going to keep it yes, but you can also choose no. And then you have time of the day. So here you can pick the specific time of the day when you want the post to go live. So in our case, let's pick 10 a.m. Then you press continue. And right now you can test the trigger if it works. So I'm going to hit test trigger and it seems like it works. We got a green check mark over here. Then we get some output over here and we can see that it works because today is Sunday when I'm making this video. All right, so I'm going to hit continue. And the second step is to establish our action. So here is where we are going to be using ChatGPT. So we are going to search for ChatGPT and click on it. We are going to choose event. And in our case, we are going to choose conversation. The description of this is sends a chat to OpenAI and generate a completion optionally storing message as we do. That's exactly what we want to do. So we are going to choose this one and then hit continue. All right, so right now you have to connect your ChatGPT account with Zapier. You can click on choose and I already have it connected. So I'm just going to choose the one that is live. Again, if you are interested in how you can connect a GPT with Zapier, I have a whole video tutorial where I show you very quickly how you can do that through API. I'm going to hit continue right now and we are ready to start using ChatGPT. So the first thing is that we have user message. The user message is where you are actually writing your prompt. So to save time, I'm going to write it down and then get back to you when it's done. All right, so I finished writing the prompt and there are many different ways how you can write prompts, but this is how I like structuring my prompts directly inside Zapier. So the first thing is that I set up a context and I always put everything into brackets so ChatGPT can understand it easily. So firstly, we have context. You are a business influencer posting viral and educating content on LinkedIn. I put that in brackets and then I'm continuing with my prompt. Create a viral post similar to this one. Always create a unique scenario and never repeat the same post or topic of the content. This part, when it never repeats itself, is very important because we don't want to post every single time very similar content on our LinkedIn profile or page. And I'm going to show you later in this tutorial how you can easily set it up so that ChatGPT writes a unique post on LinkedIn every single time. So then I write the viral post and in brackets, I put the whole viral post that I found on LinkedIn that is very similar to the one that I would like to post on my profile. I went on LinkedIn and I just did some research and I saw that Alex recently, just one day ago, posted this tweet that I really liked. And I thought that this would be a content that I would like to post on my profile as well. This is going to vary obviously. So you just have to do a research and find a post that has recently gone viral so you know that it's engaging that you like the format of the post as well and then that it has gotten a lot of reposts recently as well so i basically copied this post and i put it in my prompt and then last thing i always like to do in zapier is to set up a variable details so i again write it in my brackets and i write down keep the same structure of the tweet also keep the same or similar length put each sentence on a separate line don't write any characters before or after the post. This is important because you want to give ChatGPT as many details as possible. So then it creates the most suitable post for LinkedIn. You can later format the tweet if you want to, like adding spaces and lines with other apps in Zapier as well. So don't worry about that. All right, so the next thing is that we wanna choose our username and then assistant name. I like to keep it simple, user and assistant. 
but as Zapier writes down over here, feel free to experiment with these ones. Basically, when you change them, you give ChatGPT another layer of details and then the results or the post might look a little bit different. Then assistant instructions. I like to change this one. In our case, I'm writing down, you are an influencer who posts educative content on LinkedIn. You can be more specific if you want to. For example, in this video, I could say that we are in a business niche because this tweet is about business and generating profit. But as you can see, I'm also writing it down in the context to give ChatGPT as much information as possible. Again, feel free to experiment with this as Zapier is writing down. Here you can choose your model. I'm going to keep it at GPT 3.5 Turbo. And here is a very important step that you don't want to miss out. This is a memory key. Basically what memory key does is that it keeps all your chats in one conversation. This is very beneficial because if you remember, we wrote down that we don't want to repeat the same post or the topic of the content. As we want to post unique content each time, we have to keep all the chats in one conversation so ChatGPT remembers the prior post. In simple terms, if provided, this unique value will allow the assistant to continue a conversation from previous messages. Here you can write anything you want to, so I'm going to write LinkedIn viral post key but you can write any characters or numbers here as well. Here, max tokens, temperature, and top P. For the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it like it is. General, you can keep this as it is. Again, in my previous video where I show you how you connect ChatGPT with Zapier, I go quickly through these ones, so make sure to check that video out. Max tokens is simply telling you how long the message is going to be. And then temperature and top P, they basically adjust how the output is going to look like at the end. You can read more about each one if you click on more button over here. I'm going to go and continue. And right now we are going to test this action if it actually works. We are going to send this prompt from Zapier to ChatGPT and then from ChatGPT it's going to be sent back to Zapier so we can see and test this if this works. You can see the user message is our prompt over here and we are going to test action. Right now you can see that it's sending the conversation to ChatGPT and after a few seconds we got a conversation was sent to ChatGPT about four seconds ago. We got a green check mark so right now we can go and scroll down to see how the output would looks like. If you scroll down, you get the content, which is our prompt, but then you get the response over here. And then you get the post over here in the content section. So this is our post, how it looks like. I'm very happy with this one. It's very original, it's different. And as you can see, the formatting is very similar to Alex's. We have one sentence on each line, and then the topic of this post is very similar to the one that we posted in our prompt. All right, so I'm really happy with this one. We right now know that it works but this is not the end. We have to click on the plus button and there is a last action that we have to set up. We are going to go and search for LinkedIn because we need this to be posted on our profile or page every single day. We're going to click on LinkedIn and we are going to choose event. You can choose from different ones, but in our case, in this video, we are going to post it on my personal profile. We are going to choose create share update. Post a status update sharing some content. This is going to allow me to post the viral tweet every single day on my personal profile, but you can also do it for a company update over here. So I'm going to hit create share update. I'm going to hit continue. And then you are going to be prompted to connect your LinkedIn account with Zapier. So here I'm going to show you quickly how you can do that. It's super simple. You can do it in two ways. You can do it directly inside your Zap here when you are setting up your actions. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to hit sign in and then a pop-up like this is going to show up. So I'm going to just log in with my information. After you hit sign in, you are basically done. You gave Zapier the ability to access your profile and you are good to go. Second way how you can connect LinkedIn with Zapier is that you want to go to my apps and you can connect how many apps you want to directly here prior to creating Zaps. So I can go to add connection and here you do the same thing, you search for LinkedIn. I'm going to hit LinkedIn and I'm going to again get this pop-up where I can connect it prior to creating my Zap. All right, so we are connected, so we can hit continue. And right now we have our action. What I always like to do is that I like to rename my actions when I create a GPT conversation. So I'm going to rename this one and write down viral post. 
If you have multiple conversations, it's very nice to keep it tidy like this because later on we are going to be referring back to this conversation in the action. So in action, the first thing is that we have a comment section and this is basically where your post is being created. But if you remember, we have already created the post before with ChatGPT. We have a flow set up that is creating the post every single day for us. So right now we don't have to write anything else other than clicking on this one, go to our viral post, and then you want to scroll all the way down and search for something called assistant response message. You can also click on the more here and double check if this is your post. It looks like it is. So I can just go and click on this one or I can also format the data additionally with AI. I'm going to click assistant response message. And just like that, we put the variable over here. The next one is visible too. You can set it up to be visible to anyone or connections only. I'm going to set it up to anyone. You have a content title. This is when you can also attach documents and give it a title. And then you have content description. Again, this is the description of a shared content, which is not the case for us. You can also add some images and URLs if you want to, but simply what we have to do right now is to hit continue. And right now we can see that our tweet is being put automatically over here from ChatGPT. This is great. And this is where the automation is actually happening. We don't have to do anything. We just have set it up before that every single day ChatGPT is going to create a very unique post for us. And then we are sending it over to our LinkedIn profile to be posted. And just to keep in mind, again, this tweet is going to be a different one each day because if you remember, we specify that in our prompt. All right, so right now we are going to test this action whether ChatGPT is going to send this post to our LinkedIn profile and post it on our behalf. So I'm going to hit test action. It's sending a share to LinkedIn, just like that, we got the results and we got this URL over here which I'm going to copy and I'm going to visit right now and see whether it worked and just like that yeah it worked we got the post here it's formatted correctly we got each sentence on separate line and we actually got this set up right now and we know it works and the last step you want to do is that you want to name this so I'm going to name this app a viral LinkedIn post and the last thing you want to do is to just hit publish. And when I hit publish, it's going to start this flow every single day at 10 a.m. And then it's going to send a chat to ChatGPT from Zapier. And then from ChatGPT, that viral tweet that has been created is going to be sent and posted on our profile on LinkedIn. All right, if you enjoyed this video or if you learned anything new, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in more automation, Zapier and ChatGPT content, definitely subscribe down below because I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.